Okay, guys, so this is the Teltonica RUT240 cellular gateway, basically. It's an, a 4G LTE capable uh, Cat 4 speeds, 150 megabit per second, uh, and it's also a Wi Fi router, of course. Um, so a lot of networking features in here, uh, VPN, different security features. It has three antennas, which is always nice, uh, give you that boost in cellular strength. Um, inside this is a Quectel EC25A modem. So uh, Quectel works great with our SIM, no issues in getting this connected. I'm going to show you in this uh, standard SIM slot. We're going to pop the SIM in and watch it connect. Okay, so I've got the SIM in there. Uh, it's got powered on. Let's just close the door. And we'll just give it a few seconds here to connect. I'm going to pause the video and access the management UI, and then we'll pick up from there. So like a lot of these types of devices that have a, uh, are a Wi-Fi router as well, we connect to manage it via the, uh, the SSID that's broadcasting. So uh, you can do that also via Ethernet cable. In either case, we're going to just access via the, the device's gateway, 192.168.1.1. Uh, the, the default login uh, for the SSID actually is on the bottom of the device, and then the default login for the UI is in the in the management or the quick start guide. Um, it, I like how it displays here the, uh, if you can see in kind of in the mobile section, the uh, signal strength as seen by the modem, which is kind of unique, and, and I like that it's we're getting uh, solid strength here. If I go into the settings, uh, you're going to see that I can uh, configure an, uh, an APN. As you know, with the Soracom SIM, you don't have to. LTE connections, the APN settings will be pushed to the device. But this is also a 3G capable modem, so or device and modem, so you, you can specify the uh, APN here if you need to. Uh, this feature was really unique also. I, I really like this, how I can just scan for an operator. I paused the video because that scan actually took a couple minutes. So I scan for an operator and I like how it shows which uh, networks are allowed here, as you can see, uh, available or forbidden. And I already knew that this device can connect to AT&T and T-Mobile. So let's say I want to connect to AT&T, for example. Just hit connect. I did not pause the video in this part because I wanted to show kind of how long this, this takes, which is not long at all. Um, this is handy as you know some of some uh, in some scenarios uh, with a multi-carrier sim it, put it into a device where everything is set to auto sometimes uh, you, you don't want that you want to specify a certain carrier that you know has better signal strength in that area uh, it should connect to the strongest one but this is not always guaranteed this is different on per device so i love that you can just hit connect and connect to uh, either AT&T or T-Mobile. So let's take a look in the Soracom console, just make sure that I am seeing my connection to AT&T. And there it is, uh, we are connected to AT&T now, and as you can see, I was actually previously connected with a device to T-Mobile, so uh, you can see there it is capable of either operator and pretty easy to manage and configure. So there you have the Teltonica RUT240, really cool IoT gateway. Uh, we like the small form factor. Uh, we like uh, Teltonica support. Available on our site here, just go to soracom.io, check out the store. If you have any questions, just email us at info.soracom.io. Thanks a lot.